eyes are always on the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario. But this time, it's time to give Luigi a moment in the spotlight. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and Team Donkey Kong will be facing off against Team Luigi here in uh, race three of round one, um, here at the Pooled Jump Cup. Luigi Mach 8, Donkey Kong in the standard cart. And yes, I just invented the name right now, the Pool Jump Cup. Not the most creative name I've come up with, but uh, fits the bill of what the main feature is. That uh, giant pool fit with a very daunting looking uh, Bowser battleship. The Bowser perched on the top there. And funny enough, he's also racing in this uh, tournament. And he's also trying to do some harm in it as well. Good win for the Luigi team right there. And things have started off pretty well for that uh, second unsung hero of the kingdom. Here comes Luigi diving to the inside there. Outside, inside. And Luigi snaps Donkey Kong against the wall. And that's two wins for the Luigi team. We got the Mega Mushroom back there in the skull as well, if you notice. Looking pretty good down that hairpin, which there's a little bit of an argument about whether that was a hairpin or not. But on my close analysis, it seems like there is no length between those two 90 degree turns. Seems to be a full curve the whole way. Quite a big curve in length, but uh, it's not two 90s in a length between these. Looking at it from my vantage point, I'm going to go with that that's a hairpin. Luigi on the near side! Oh! Comes across a few wheels ahead. Wheel lengths ahead. Caught up in the hairpin there, almost missed quite a race there. Luigi coming around, he's behind. And Diddy Kong had trouble spinning around and getting back to front. Luigi found that inside line, he's done that about three times in different ways. Finds the right lane to sneak through. And that's going to be three wins for the Luigi team. Looking pretty good. Luigi again on the inside, spinning around, coming down the inside again and has the win. And that's four wins for Luigi. We're about halfway through round one and it's 4-0 for the Luigi team. I know we have mentioned the uh, special feat before. I don't even want to say the word as if to jinx this opportunity. But uh, we're halfway there. Luigi in a bad wagon and the sports coupe. Unfortunate for Luigi team right now. The bad wagon is a scary vehicle to try to win in. Not the fastest car. He spins around. Donkey Kong finding straightness. Yes. Oh, and there goes the shutout. I can finally say the word. Four to one. Man. Didn't think it was going to end as soon as I mentioned it, but <laughs> the bad wagon again, not a fast car. We have Donkey Kong, we got Luigi. They're on the far side in the sneaker. we going behind the length here as we curve through the hairpin. They both spin around. Donkey Kong straightens out, and he's going to pull it to 4-2. to two. And Luigi team will... Huh, personified well by the finish of that sneaker Luigi. Kind of spin out before the finish line. That's where the round is going to them so far. Let's get Luigi in the sports coupe and Diddy Kong in the pipe frame. Uh, sports coupe, definitely a good car to race with if you can. It's fast and it always seems to accelerate out of the jump and right there, again with that, does spin around but way ahead of that pipe frame. Diddy Kong a little uh, frustrated bump there at the end. I think the officials will let that be. Understanding this is a high stakes race. Luigi team up 5-2. Donkey Kong in trouble. Maybe they can put one more on the board. B Dasher and the P Wing. Two balanced vehicles. P Wing coming out strong. About a half length. Now it's about even. Here comes the jump. Here comes the B Dasher. Up by a length and more. Diddy Kong. Donkey Kong, sorry. Spins around and finishes backwards. No matter what Kong you want to call him, he did take that race and kind of save things there for the Donkey Kong team who now has a. 5-3 to three deficit to work with, as opposed to a very uh, nerve-wracking, I'd say, 6-2. to two. Not be uh, good for that team and disappointing for the fans, too. Luigi with 5, Donkey Kong with 3. Let's hit the next round. We have Donkey Kong in the B-Dasher. We have Luigi in the Circuit Special. You can see one up etched on the side of the car there. That's a good, encouraging message here in the Mushroom Kingdom. And uh, not good enough to win this one. Donkey Kong will cross and get first looks at that Mega Mushroom as he does. Donkey Kong team trying to hang on here. 
Well, yeah, they're up one here in the next round, but they're still down overall vehicles. Circuit Special now on the side of the Donkey Kong team and the Mach 8 there for Luigi. Mach 8, we saw him really blast out of the gate in the first round. And again, look at that straight landing out of the jump. Beautiful. No spinning around on the hairpin. That's the fastest time, I think, that we've seen on this course. Wow. Beautiful racing. Look at that. Whip around the hairpin and how straight he was able to maintain down the line. Definitely want to see him in the final. Standard card and the sports coupe. Sports coupe definitely, again, like I said, one of the better vehicles to race with. But usually has trouble not spinning around. You see it there. Donkey Kong spun around. He's back to center. Donkey Kong. Ooh, trying to cut to the near side there. But Luigi blocks him. And that's going to be... Another win for the Luigi team, and the Donkey Kong team will hang on with only one racer into the semifinals. Will be a tough win, but quite an upset if he can pull it off. Again, Luigi's with 5-3, to three, so Luigi's will have to eliminate one of their own here. Standard card Sports Coupe, and I can't really tell you which one it's going to be. Sports Coupe again, spinning around, 360 and even more. Standard card had more speed out of Sector 2, which again starts at the beginning of the hairpin. And we'll take this Each sector has its own feature. Obviously, the feature jumping over the pool is the more special and attentive of the two. Tension grabbing, maybe. But uh, this uh, hairpin is still a big part of this race. That can make or break your race, depending on how you approach it. Donkey Kong and the B-Dasher. I'm sorry, and Luigi and the Standard. And uh, well, that's why they're separated sector-wise. Donkey Kong needs to win this one to hang on for his team. Donkey Kong blocked on the near side by Luigi. And Luigi's going to spin out and cross backwards. Donkey Kong struggled through that whole race, but somehow just kept his mass in front of the standard card. And you see right there, as the course narrowed a little bit, Luigi started to spin and couldn't find a lane down the inside there. Luigi Mach 8, Luigi standard card. Mach 8, far side, oh my god. Mach 8 out by two lengths and more straight here. Here comes the hairpin. No spinning around at all. And we are down the line and finished. And that's exactly what I expected from that vehicle and racer. And I think the finals are going to be pretty difficult for the Donkey Kong team. He still manages to hang on. One Donkey Kong racer outlasting all the Luigi's. Here we go to the finals. It's the first to win three. No, first to win two. Be best of three if you want to name it. Two races to win. Mach 8, B-Dasher. Which has got more speed? Well, I can answer that right now. The Mach 8. Look at it come out of the gate. Two, three lengths ahead already through the jump. But can the B-Dasher shoulder his way through? Yes! He snaps Luigi through the hairpin. But somehow, Luigi was on vertical for about three, four lengths of track. But somehow flips back, straightens out, and finishes backwards. Still well ahead of the B-Dasher. Unbelievable. Man, Luigi spun around there. Grinded the side with the bottom of his wheels and still finished ahead. Unbelievable racing. Honestly, MVP right now to that car. If they can manage to pull this off. Here comes Luigi. Fast and straight. Ooh, starts to turn around. Donkey Kong goes inside, outside, but he went the wrong way. And Luigi was there for the block inside, then there for the block outside. And the Mach 8 will, in short order, end the finals and win this for himself and the Luigi team. Certainly the kind of Result I was hoping for, if I'm honest. I love the Mach 8, one of my favorite cars. And that will do it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. And we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.